area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. I could whisper, nigga, I ain't gotta use all my voice. I'm in Vajo space so much, Minnesota Luke gonna wanna deduct all my points. Yeah. Nigga, what you talking about, boy? You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise, you heard me right. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute, 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 salute. So you got Geechee Gotti versus Swamp, the last battle of the night. They had to get right. Um, coming into this battle, a lot of people wanted to know was Geechee Gotti gonna take Swamp super serious? You know, they was just on teams, things like that. You know, Swamp and him teamed up to have a fire two on two. And then they come into this battle as the last battle of the night. I do got some notes and quotes from this one. Um, Swamp comes out, um, you know, in, in his rounds, and Geechee Gotti, you know what I'm saying, he had, in his first round, was was where he set the tone. Like, he set the tone and let it be known what he was here for and what it was about. Uh, your funeral gonna be at the top of the list. It's chart topping, then he had a back spasm line, then he had a Black Widow's line, uh, make her link, like top jeweler, you know, the top jewelers make the links and all of that. Uh, you know, they said I got, I got charged for recycling. I used these cans on my last op. Uh, something fly out of page like paper planes. Then he rebuttaled the um, Kevin Samuels line. He said, my, I had more O's in my trap than Lenny Williams. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Old school, old school. Uh, trying to run, but the 12 already got you. Stop resisting. Very, very fire first round from Geechee. I wanted to know, was Swamp going to be able to level up? Was he going to do something that he did not do in a lot of his other battles? Swamp comes out in his first round. Um, you know, he said, I didn't gave the judge more hell than Minnesota Luke. You know, Minnesota Luke, he got hell for being a judge the other week or whatever the case may be. I feel like he's doing better now. Uh, Beyonce, push everything to the left. Um, I will not know how to act if I get the 100 thou like Bow Wow. I want to see a crit flip like the Special Olympics. That was one of his more powerful lines of his first round. But Geechee Gotti got the first round. Uh, Geechee Gotti second round. He was saying, um, I mean, Swamp's, Geechee Gotti second round. Uh, you know, Geechee said something about Swamp not, Swamp said something about Geechee Gotti not taking him to the hood. To, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then Geechee rebuttals it. If I would have, if I would have took you to the hood, I would have, Smack Investment would have got killed. That would have been my fault. Then he said, I'm going to invade your space. <laughs> the judges, go, he said, I'm going to invade your space. Minnesota Luke going to want to deduct all my points. That was a that was a haymaker. Uh, I got a box big enough to pack 12 of USC niggas in. That was fire. Those type of punches was coming far and far from far swamp. They was coming. They was, they was, they was at you. He was getting hit with them haymakers. Swamp came with a wet and wavy bar. Uh, I wanted to get to this battle so fast, I drove off and took the pump with me. He said, I'm going to walk through this street image like Google Maps. Overall, uh, Swamp's first to me and second were not enough to beat what Geechee Gotti was coming with, which was all haymakers. Uh, he said, Geechee's third, I got a nine, and the nine-year-old ra to raise, I had to raise my gun before I raised my son. Uh, I prayed for peace, but spray the peace. All my problems get sent to God. Uh, he, said, he said, I got niggas that's locked up that don't even know what month we in. He said, locked up every day. They don't know the time. They're saying, fuck that clock. Uh, and then he said, if we get the money, it comes from Drake. It's gonna be them Aubrey Grams. Swamp's third round. Uh, he had a, you ain't gotta lie to kick it bar. Before I let you rob me with them Cleo braids, I'ma set it off. He said, I'll kill you with something blue still the same year your set was. Um, honestly, I got Geechee Gotti winning 3-0. Uh, Swamp. It just was not Swamp's night. Like, even the stuff that he did have and that he was trying to bring, it just was not hitting for the mitten. I'm going to just be honest with you. It just was not clicking like that. He, he, he needed to do more in this battle. He did better versus Jerry West. Um, to me, Geechee did better versus Riggs. He has a, a couple little clip, clip, slip, slip, little clippy blippies in there, but he did get all his material off. Uh... If Geechee's got, he's gonna win this whole thing facing somebody like a Cortez 
or a rum nitty he's gonna definitely need to be on a hundred but um you know it, it's one of them things where uh swamp has continued to elevate his catalog has continued to make his name continue to build his brand and you know i just feel and i feel like you know i like what swamp came with you know in some instances you know but it just the, he wasn't getting a lot of reaction, but reaction don't win battles. But I just felt like the more impactful material and the more tactical material came from Gichi Gotti in this instance. And it's just one of them things where, you know, Swamp is going to get better. He's going to continue to grow. Uh, I will say this. Gichi Gotti came out like F that 2 on 2. He was not worried about that 2 on 2 at all. Like, he let that be known from the beginning. Like, he was not worried about no two on two and it was what it was but um you know other than that salute to every single one of y'all you know what i'm saying and it is what it is and um we're gonna we're gonna keep this thing moving uh showtime sp what you got how do you judge this like how how do you even judge a battle like this like this is so close like i i, I don't i don't i don't this is the problem I be having where Showtime SP should be a judge. You can do the bar breakdowns and stuff like that. Man, this job is hard, bro. This no, man. Listen. All right, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Pow, nobody. Nobody's. Nobody. Nobody lost this battle. Nobody lost this battle. Let me tell you something. Swamp vs. Gigi Gotti needed to be the main event, and I am glad it was the main event because it needed to be just that, okay? Only thing I got to say about this battle is that last week you was, uh, the last bat, last uh, tournament you was talking about, fuck that clock, man, fuck that clock, man, stop my, you know, don't, don't, don't run my time. Y'all was right in the time frame. Like, it was good, though. It was good. I like how y'all was dancing between it. I like, I was, I was rocking with it. I was rocking with it. But this battle itself was a war. Like, this battle was a really good battle. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I can understand if somebody would say Geechee, uh, 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 Swamp got this battle 2-1, uh, 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 second and third. Um, but I can also understand if somebody said that Geechee Gotti won this battle first and second. Somebody could even try to argue all three of the rounds. But I just want to say Swamp. This is what we need to see from you at all times. And I love it. It's fire to me. It is fire to me because I think Swamp definitely has still earned his his spot where he's at. He solidified his plates. So, like, we 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 not even going to debate that part. Gichi Gotti advances to the next round. It seems like Cortez and Gichi Gotti and Casey J and Rum Nitty are going to the semifinals. It's getting close. 100K. I ain't mad at none of these people that are in this. I'm not mad at anybody that was here. Like, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not mad at none of this. Um, truth be told, uh, things that, that, that need to be uh, uh, said is that uh, pfft, this can really be anybody's war right now. This can really be anybody's war. For anybody that I can still say is a surefire winner, um, and just off the rip, man, Rum Nitty, man, it just seems like Rum Nitty can just be doing this on autopilot and he's going to do it. But Geechee Gotti got that same formula. That's going to be spooky to see. That's going to be really spooky to see. KCJ has got a newfound aggression. She has a newfound ability to write for her opponent. And, and the aggression level is there for Casey. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, bro. Like, it's... Is this 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 semifinals is about to be spooky, man? Um, if I could take away anything, um, Jack Boy Man still needs to remain where he's at. Um, I really feel like Jack Boy Man could be the new, newer version of Big T, where he dances in and out of the flow, and he can still hit you with the crazy haymaker at the end. Jack Boy, you definitely showed you belong. You you still belong where you at. Swamp solidified his spot wherever he you know where he's at. Um, drugs, man. I, I I just think that drugs is just gonna keep getting booked. So it's not even a down look for drugs. Drugs is gonna keep getting booked. And and prep, prep gonna have to do something. Prep gonna have to smoke something for sure for sure because this seems like you know like I can't say that you know he was robbed because I I feel like you know Casey got that battle, but. I can see if somebody say that Prep might have won it. It, it. it could go whichever way you want to go about it. I think now this is very, very much harder 
harder to judge because everybody's playing now. These are the contenders. Like, nobody really has any facets like, oh, well, this, you know, well, this person might not be as good. Casey got herself right back where she needed to be. So it's like, oh, she ain't been that good, but Casey back where she needed to be. Cortez was on a slump, right? Cortez was on a slump. Well, guess who's still in this tournament? Guess who's still acting like he won 100K? Ernesto is still in the building. Rum Nitty, man, he's still a full, he, he, it, look, a lot of people who still got Rum Nitty winning this whole thing, people can still see that happening. Like, like those people with those brackets, and, but they, I'm pretty sure everybody brackets is busted, because it ain't perfect. I know it ain't perfect. And, and last but not least, man, Geechee Gotti, bro, it's, it's gonna be hard, man. Geechee is the new Clips. Geechee is the new Charlie Clips, where it's hard to beat him when he's standing in front of you. Literally, this nigga has battled over the past month, at least about four or five times. Like, I'm not... Geechee probably about to battle somebody right after this. Like, he about, they about to do the after party, and Geechee got to go do that battle next. Like, it's just... It's just crazy. But I'm here, though. I'm here for it. I'm loving all of it. And the fact that this is an early night, I get to get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Well, I already ate, but I can eat again. You feel me? Like, I got enough time to do what I need to do, continue where I needed to go. You know what I'm saying? So, salute to y'all. Salute to you, Vada. Salute to every single one of y'all out there that watch these videos, whether religiously or in passing. I appreciate it, and I love each and every single one of y'all. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because you made this nobody still a nobody. I'm still a nobody, but you know the nobody. So it's like I kind of can't commit any crimes no more because y'all, I mean, just know. It. But then again, y'all could confuse me with Dot or something like that or Bobby Smurder. But I don't want Bobby Smurder to go back home or something like that. I don't understand why niggas was doing that. But, oh, yeah.